all of this fits into this. Today, I'm going to teach you how to be your own personal carry-on when you travel. getting more and more strict about the amount of baggage you can bring onto the plane with you. Some allow you a personal carry-on and a carry-on piece of luggage. Some only allow you a personal carry-on. And if you try to bring in something like this, which is a fanny pack, and I carry these a lot, a lot of them are catching these now and not allowing you to wear these onto the plane as part of your clothing or whatever that you would normally wear. So now we're going to have to be a little more sly about how we're going to get all the things we like to keep in our little fanny pack or little purse or whatever that we bring on the plane. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, I'm still a big advocate of wearing one of these on the plane because I like things right at my waist where I don't have to bend down into my bag to get earphones or batteries or cords or gum or earplugs, anything like that. I like to have them in this. And if you're going to wear one of these, you want to make sure it's really thin and something that if you do try to wear it, you can maybe swing it around the back of you and maybe they won't notice. And something like this works well because it's just really thin. The other thing is if they do catch you with it and they say, you have to take this off, you're going to want to quickly be able to empty this out into a bunch of pockets or put this into your personal carry-on so that you can quickly get onto the plane. And then once you get back, get to your destination, fill it all back up so you have it. I always like having a fanny pack when I travel. I feel a lot safer having something around my waist or wearing it as a sling when I'm out and about. So I always bring one and or wear one. But I'm going to show you today that if they ask you to remove this and remove everything out and you don't have room in your personal carry-on, how to get some of these things into the plane with you. Most of us always wear pants with pockets and things like that. But one of the things I like to wear the most when I'm traveling is a vest because it's very versatile. It's something that can be over my body, keep me a little warmer if I'm cold, but also doesn't have sleeves and doesn't have the bulk on it if I'm on the plane. And if I take it off, it's easy to roll up and maybe stuff into my personal carry-on if I don't want to wear it. But the best thing is, is I have pockets in these vests that allow me to squirrel away a few little extra things onto the plane with me. So that frees up some space in my personal item bag for other things like clothes, shoes, or toiletries. And that is important. These are the items that I looked for when choosing the vest I'm going to show you today. Number one was availability of storage on the vest. Number two was how comfortable was the vest because I needed to be really comfortable when I'm flying. And number three was price. And number four, the weatherability of it. Was it something that I could wear in a lot of different weather environments? So let's go through the vest that I chose. All right, this first vest is good for weather that's a little bit warmer, not something where you're going to be, you know, out in the winter chill, although this is water resistant and it is also water repellent and thin. It doesn't have any special linings or anything on the inside of it to help keep you warm, but it will do the trick in the warmer climates. I love that this vest has several pockets, two regular pockets like everything has, and the pockets are zipper. Plus it has a nice big pocket on the back, which is great if you want a larger item. I also have pockets on the inside that are nice and deep, although they don't zip. And this vest also has some reflective material in it. So if you're out and about, you'll have some visibility if you're out and about. The cons of this vest are, I wish it had a hood that I could actually attach to it or take it off if I wanted to have a hood with it. Um, so that would be number one thing. And number two is I wish the pockets actually zip closed. So that way when I'm going through TSA and I drop things in here like my passport or whatever, and I lay it in the bin, it's less likely to fall out if I could have it zip up. So this is a couple of things that I would change on this vest. This next vest is very similar to the vest I just showed you, except 
it's a little bit better for weather that's a little bit cooler. And that's because the inside of this is a fleece material. So anything up against your face or your back will have fleece on it. So it's going to keep you a little warmer. Like the other vest, it's waterproof and windproof. So you're going to be able to go out into some cold weather with this and feel fairly warm. It also has quite a few pockets and it has the two regular pockets like every jacket has, but it also has a pocket in the front here that also zips open as well as several zip pockets on the inside at the chest and at the waist that are going to allow you to put things away and keep them secure because they're going to zip closed. And that's really important if you're going to be throwing your vest in a bag or in a bin like through TSA and you don't want things like keys, passports, or wallets falling out, that's a great vest for this. It also comes in a variety of colors. Um, it also has some stretch to it and it's not going to break the bank to get this vest either. So again, those are some of the positives of it. The negative of this vest, again, this one does not have a hood that you can take on and off. I think that would just be nice to have that if you wanted to, if it was maybe a little rainy out and you wanted a hood on, even a lightweight hood or a place where you could zip in a lightweight hood would be nice. But other than that, this vest for me is one of my favorites because it pretty much hits the mark for everything. Those of you who are not a vest person, the next two items are going to be good for you because they have sleeves. And this one is more of like a fleece sweatshirt or zip front sweatshirt material. And it is going to keep you really warm on those cold winter months when you're out and about. And it has a multitude of pockets on it. It's going to have your standard pockets on the outside and they zip. It also has pocket on the chest that zips, as well as pockets on the inside that zip, as well as deeper pockets within. So it's like the Russian nesting doll of pockets in this particular sweatshirt. It even has pockets on the arms just everywhere for you just to stash things and a large pocket on the back that's going to allow you to stuff something big, even like another piece of clothing or something in it. The negative of this sweatshirt is it's heavy because of material and all of the zippers and pockets that are on it. It's a heavy sweatshirt. So if you're not something, you know, you don't want to carry something big and heavy, this might not be for you. The other thing is the hood is not detachable. I wish it was something again where you could take the hood off if you wanted to and didn't want to wear it. And that will alleviate some of the weight of something like this. And um, I didn't buy this one. David bought this for me. And I, I'm not sure what colors come with it. But it's one of those things, again, if it's just really cold and you need to store a lot of things on your flight, this is a great sweatshirt to have. This last one I'm going to show you is probably my favorite in the sense that you get the best of both worlds because it's a jacket as well as a vest because you can remove the sleeves from this if you don't want to have the sleeves on. It is made of a waterproof material and it's rather thin and it is also windproof. This is a great jacket for those warmer months, not necessarily for winter, but for the warmer months, this is a great jacket to have, especially if you're out and about and you're not sure what the weather's going to do. This is a great one to take with you. Again, this has pockets, standard pockets like everything, and they zip right here on the outside. The pockets on the inside don't zip, but they have nice deep pockets. And it also has one big deep pocket on the back and it has the reflectors. So if you're out and about, it's going to make you highly visible. It also comes in a few other colors. So that's another great thing. And it's very stretchy, very, very stretchy. So it's nice when you start stuffing all those things in those pockets, you're going to want a little bit of give to that jacket so it can kind of stretch along after you've put all those things away in your pockets. And this one, what I like is because it's thin, if it's something that I needed to fold up and stick into a personal carry-on, it's going to fold up nicely and just go in there. So it's another great jacket to have. The cons of this jacket for me are, again, it's the hood thing. I just always like to have the option of having a hood. So if it could have something that was removable that I could put on if I wanted to, that would be great. I also wish that the pocket in this had a zipper, you know, just for extra security. So that way, if you throw your jacket or vest, you know, down on a bed or on a conveyor belt or in your bag, things don't fall out of it and get lost. So a couple of things that I would add, I don't think would add too much weight to add that to this. So those are some of the things I would change about this jacket.
All right, seasoned travelers, I know that there are those of you out there that have your favorite jacket or vest that you take with you on your travel adventures that you can stuff a lot of things into. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorites so all of us can look at those and make some choices to be our own personal carry-on when we travel. I will leave links to the vests and jackets in the video description below so you can go and choose something for your next travel adventure. Until the next time, remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. Remember to get a travel vest so you can be your own personal carry-on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.